So today I've got a review for you. Um, it's going to be on my Vice, my Renzetti Traveler 2200 series. First off, uh, I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, I like this Vice. It's a really good Vice. Um, I've reviewed two other Vices before, and I thought they were okay. There is not much bad to be said, though, about this Vice. This is a good quality Vice. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. Is there a perfect vice out there? Possibly. Um, but you're gonna, if there is, you're gonna pay way too much money for it. So let's talk about the specs of this. Uh, number one being price, because that's the most important in my opinion, is the price of it. Um, granted, there are some $20 vices out there. I've seen $8 vices. Are they good? No. Will they work? Possibly. If you tie a fair amount, they're not going to be the vice for you, okay? Um, those type of vices. But if you, want to, if you want to tie a lot, if you're going to tie a lot of flies or, you know, a medium amount of flies, um, more than, you know, 20 or 30 a month or maybe even only 10 a month, you might want to step up to something a little nicer. Now, this one, the price point is right about, I believe, $200. So, uh, that's a little pricey. Um, this one is kind of an upgraded model. Um, you can get pretty much this exact same vise with a little different, uh, it's, it's got like gold here and uh, looks a little different than this, but it's pretty much the same, same jaws at least. Uh, this is all um, stainless steel versus painted like this. Um, what will happen is that corrodes a little, little more um, easily. So they say after about 10 years, 5 years to 10 years, that might start sticking. And I really wanted to have a vice that will last longer. And that one starts at like, I think, 169 So it's a good price um, for a vice, okay? But $200, I mean, you spend 40 bucks more. 30 bucks more and um, you get you can get this one okay but they're pretty identical so let's uh, now that we got the price out of the way let's talk about um, some of the features one is the jaw so let me turn this here first off I've got actually really quick I want to tell you I've got the clamp style as you can see this clamp because I've got this bench I've got a um, here we'll scoot this out so you can see um, you can see I've got a tying bench, okay? I hold all my stuff, and there's a nice little spot for it to clip right there. So that's why I got that. It's a C-clamp vise, okay? Uh, they do make a pedestal for this, and I think you might pay a little bit more money, but I could be wrong, okay? But this, the way that this works, um, it's a cam operated, so this turns, of course, when it's against here, it's not going to. I should probably flip this C-clamp up, but I kind of like it there because I rest things on that sometimes. But if I turn that around, you'd be able to uh, hit this any any which way. But it's it's hitting uh, it's hitting there. So um, it's a it's a it's a cam vice. So a cam jaw. So what it is is you're gonna adjust this wide so that way once you're ready. Let me turn this a little bit so I can. There we go. And then this clamps it the rest of the way. So this will, you adjust this so it barely fits to where your, um, the size of your hook is. So for the instance, this is a medium wire sized hook. So you want to basically, before you start doing anything, you want to adjust this to just about where um, it's touching. And then you can clamp this down and that'll hold the hook the rest of the way. Now, to achieve this, it's got this little ring here, this little O-ring. So, one thing that is negative about this is this is rubber, and this will over time corrode or wear, and maybe in about a year, maybe a little longer you might have with it, you'll have to replace that. But it's not expensive. I mean, a couple bucks. Or, for pretty much free, you put a rubber band on there. That's all you really need to do looks nicer to have this okay but that's that's a strong jaw I'll I think I'll bend this hook 
mean, I can't, I can't even, you know, that's a strong hook. You're not going to move that. That's in there solid if you do it right. So you can see I've got, I've got it down a little bit more to get a little more uh, grip. So the further down you get, the more grip it's going to get. Um, but of course, you know, you get more room when you're further up because the shape of these jaws are a triangle there. So you can actually get some small flies up in the top. Now you don't want to clamp down really tight, by the way, and I'll, I'll tell you why, when you're right at the tip. Um, so I had this happen, and I'll show you guys a picture right now where I can get in closer, but I actually chipped the very tip of this jaw. Um, so it's a it's a decent quality steel, um, but I tipped the very I chipped the very tip on a size 30 fly that I put really close to the tip and clamped it down. They say this is not made for size 30. They it's made for they I think they say up to size 26. I tie all the time with 30 on this and it works just fine. But they do have a midge tip, okay, a midge jaw that is half this, so it's cut basically in half. So what it is is it gives you a little um, you can bite down a little further on the hook and still have room to tie on. But I just use this, I've never done that. But especially on a big hook, you don't want to go right on the edge and then clamp down because you will bust those jaws. So on a bigger hook, you need to give yourself, you need to go down a little further right on the bend of the hook and that's where you clamp. And you're gonna straighten that a little better. And that's going to be solid. You're not going to move that as long as you adjust it correctly. Okay? So, of course, if you have that too wide, that's going to move because you haven't adjusted this here. Okay? That is a pretty decent size hook. It's only a size 1, though. I do have some bigger, so let's see if it'll work on those. This is a size 4 aught. I use this, it says salt water, but I use this for a couple, um, I have used this for a couple pike flies I was going to tie a while back, and that's what I got this for. And this is a super thick wire hook. Now it's made, they say this is made for uh, 26 to I think 2 aught. Okay, so this is a little bigger. And you can see it's not really, because it's such a thick wire, that's out as far as it goes. And then I'm hitting that. So they have a saltwater jaw, okay? They have a jaw for saltwater hooks. And so it's going to be for a little bigger um, bend. But you can tie with this, okay? So it starts to move, as you can see. There was a little movement on that. So once you get into something super thick like this, um, that's why I showed you this. Uh, it's not really made for this. It's really up to size 2 aught. Um, and even 2 aught, I've got I uh, I've seen a few 2 aught hooks, which I don't have right now in that thick, but a super thick wire 2 aught hook might not fit. Okay, um, again, this is a really good um, jaw, but you kind of need to get their saltwater jaw. Um, that's really the only other jaw I would recommend getting, um, even if you're tying size super tiny down to size like 30. The midge jaw, I mean, it might be beneficial. You get a little more room around it, but you can get away with that um, with this jaw on a size 30. Kind of can't with the big saltwater hooks if you're tying really big. So if you're a saltwater fisherman, um, there might be some better vices out there for you. But um, definitely, if you like this vice and you want to get it, you can still make it work with their bigger jaw. And I believe you can fit that on this uh, uh, 2000 series. Mine's a 2200, um, but the 2000 basically series uh, Renzetti uh, Traveler. Okay, so those are big hooks. Let's talk about tiny hooks. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. That's size 30, as you can see, 30 right there. Um, these are tiny, really, really, really small hooks, which you're not going to even be able to see, I don't think, in the camera. Okay. They're just little grains of dust almost. So I'm going extremes here, guys, just so that way you can see, okay? I'm so nervous of dumping this. These are expensive hooks. It's the only hooks out there I've found that tie down to, or that make them down to 30. 
and they're the Gamagatsus. They're not, not cheap. So, same thing as before. It's so tiny. Uh, you basically want to just make it so the, the when this is open, this barely fits in there. And again, like I said, you don't want to give your, uh, you don't want to clamp it down too tight. And there we go. I'm not going to clamp that anymore. Okay. But that's in there tight. Now I would probably want to give myself a little more room on that and have, nope, see, it takes a little more adjusting when you don't have those midge. Okay. So that's really, really tiny hook, but that is not going to move. You'll bend that before. And plus you're using, when you're using really tiny hooks, it's not, not a thick thread. You'll bust the thread before you bust this as long as you put it in correctly, okay? So uh, there's not a ton of room though, I will admit, and I'll take a picture of this and post that up right now so you can see it closer up. But there's not a ton of room to work with without those midge jaws, but it's still doable, okay, even on those really tiny hooks. But where this vise shines is the normal hooks. Um, I really, really like it. Uh, even with these jaws, okay? I mean, I can do it with these really tiny flies. Um, I don't tie down to size 30 too often. Um, the 26 is my most common for, you know, the smaller stuff, uh, 24, 26. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you get the size, uh, let's do a normal, what everyone's gonna be used to doing. Here we go. Here's size 14. Let's do that. And you can see, that the jaws give you a lot of room to work with with the way that these are pointed. I've got to adjust this really quick. Sorry guys. So there we go. Look at all that room you've got. I don't even have it as close as I could to the tip. And if you can see that, again I'll take a picture if it's not showing up. There's so much room around this to work with because the way that these jaws are pointed and the direction, it's not straight up, but it's not too much of an angle either. So you've got, you know, it's just right out of the way at the right angle, um, you know, for you to get around the hook and especially on these curved hooks, you've got to kind of do side bends and I mean side wraps and whatnot to really get down into the bend. If you're going to tie like a caddis, for instance, you want that really curved. Um, it gives you just so much room around this to work with. By the way, it's a rotary, full rotary, and that's with the weird funky angle. If you haven't seen vices before, forgot to tell you guys in the beginning, full rotary. The way that it holds it, there's just so much room, you could even just use this to do your tie-in instead of all the way around on certain things. You want to do that. But there's just, it's so nice and so um, intuitive, this vice. It's just really easy to use. I've had some where it takes like a bunch of different, you know, things to be able to get a hook planted perfectly. But anytime I change out hooks, let's go back to the one out from the smaller hook. That quick. You get what I'm saying, guys? That's the difference between an easy to use vise like this, um, a well-made Simple, again, this is simple. This doesn't have a bunch of bells and, whist bells and whistles, but do you need that for advice? No, you need it to hold a hook, and you need it to, to give you room to be able to tie around the hook. That's the most important thing, and this does that. Again, might be wary about it with some really large stuff, so big saltwater stuff, tarpon flies, maybe not the vice for you. However, Renzetti makes one. Uh, that's specifically for tarpon or bigger, you know, bigger stuff, uh, big, you know, saltwater flies. But for normal, everyday stuff, especially any trout fishing that you're going to do, this will work just fine, okay? Now, when I looked at it, when I first looked at this vise, I ended up not getting it. Because to me, when I saw it, it looked, you know, it's got this thin wire here. It all, you know, this is, um, not wire, sorry, this thin arm here, this is thin, everything looks thin. Um, it looks like it will break, it looks like, um, and it doesn't. So as some of you may know, um, I don't work there anymore, but I was working at a fly shop down near the San Juan. And it's called Float Fish, great fly shop, 
the, my boss there um, has had one of these and it's been sitting in the shop, I think he said about 21 years, okay? It's been tied on so much that there's literally a, the jaw was worn down, okay? Because we had, he had tied on it so much and, and he had, he replaces, you know, I mean, we're talking probably every year, you know, 50,000 flies every year because we're tying flies there, okay? Maybe less, I'm not sure, but a lot of flies, guys. I mean, it was a lot. And so, you know, every couple years he'd have to replace the jaws, which isn't that expensive, okay? It's not that expensive to replace the jaws on this. Um, I'll have to look it up. I don't know exactly. I'll put that in the description section, but I want to say in like the $50 range, it's not that bad, okay? And the normal everyday person will probably never have to replace the jaws unless you do something stupid like I did but I'm still not needing to replace them. They're just fine. It's just a little nick, um, and you guys will see it. Um, but uh, it, he had been tying on it, and nothing broke on this, and he had been tying for years on it. So it's sturdy. I mean, that's the thing is it is a sturdy vice. Now, granted, if I really put a lot of pressure, I can get that to wiggle. But that's a lot of pressure. I mean, I have to, you know, use both hands to really kind of lay on it. And uh, so it's solid. It's a, it's a, even though it's thinner arms than I was, you know, expecting, uh, what that does is it gets it out of the way. You don't need this big honking arm. You're not putting so much torque on this unless maybe big, big saltwater flies. Even so, that's, the hook is going to bend before this breaks, okay? So it is more solid than it looks, okay? But that was my one concern, okay? But... Um, you know, overall, I have loved this vice. Um, I mean, it just is intuitive. It does everything I need. It's simple. Um, and it's, you know, with a C-clamp, with any other C-clamp, you can adjust the height, you know, and get, you know, pretty decent depending on. Now, if I flip this around, um, I can actually get this even a little higher, okay? Then that, if you want, depending on how tall your seat is or whatever, or your bench that you're working on or whatever it may be, okay? Um, but that's easy. Um, you know, you can adjust it up and down with the C-clamp. With the, with the pedestal, you're stuck with it, okay? Um, then there's this right here. So um, this is a screw, okay? So with a rotary, for instance, a big hook like this. If I do that, see how this moves? See how my finger is moving up and down? It's not a perfect, it doesn't lay perfectly there. Um, you want this to maybe move up so that way when you put the hook in, um, you're going to get it to spin. You want the, the this aligned with right here because that's where this is going to spin without moving up and down, okay? Which gives you a little more control when you're doing certain applications, right? Spinning hackle, if you're gonna use a rotary feature to spin hackle or whatever it may be, okay? Um, so, um, of course you could seat it a little lower. Okay, and that will get it to not move as much, but you can actually adjust that. So, don't put a hook in and you can use a penny I just use my knife, and there's a screw. I'm going to do it on this side. It's going to be hard for you guys to see. Basically, this screw, you just start on un, uh, unscrewing. Like I said, you can use a penny. Now, this this is the one thing that I say takes I think takes a little longer than it should. I think that should be a little thing that you can um, do with your fingers, but maybe not. Maybe that would get in the way. I don't know. Okay, um, and that way you can move this up or down, right? So for a bigger hook, you want this in the all the way down position. There's three holes that you can screw this screw into and change the position. So that's in a lower position, okay? And while it's not infinitely adjustable, it gets the job done, okay? Um, oops. Righty tighty, re lefty loosey, right? There we go, that's a little lower, and therefore this is gonna, see that's more in line with that, and watch. Okay, my finger moves a little, but not the same as before. You can see that that 
does not move. And if I make that a little straighter, you can actually get it to where the, the hook shaft stays even, okay? Now, granted, if you put a tiny hook on that, smaller, this isn't tiny, this is a size 14, but let's use that for an example. Now that's going to see how that moves. So you need to adjust it. So that's the only thing is um, if you really want to get that perfect, then there is a little more work involved. Um, but generally I leave it right in the center and it works for everything for me. Okay. But you can move this to, you know, it'll work really well for super tiny hooks. Um, so if you know you're going to tie a bunch of, um, tiny midges in size, you know, 26, you can move it all the way up like that. Um, or, you know, size 20 or whatever, move it all the way up. And so that's moving a little bit. You set it down a little deeper and that'll be, you see, it needs to be in the center. I put it all the way down in the bottom one. This one specifically should be in the center. Okay. And that would actually come out where it doesn't move, but it's pretty close. I mean, a little movement, but not much. Okay. So that adjustment is the only thing that I would say isn't perfect on this uh, vice, but it works. It still works. And I've really had, it's not perfect, but I've had no actual issues or qualms with it. It's just not a, not an issue for me. Okay. Maybe it is for you, um, but just for me, it's just not. All right. So let's then talk about the rotary feature. Obviously, we already said the angle of this is nice. Um, it's perfect for what you need. Um, it allow you know it's it's a steep enough angle that it, um, some of these saltwater flies and bigger flies um, it gives you that strength, but also is is not too shallow of an angle that it gets in the way either. Um, and uh, I think the angle is just perfect. Okay, and plus this is thin, relatively thin, so it just doesn't get in the way. The whole, um, the whole vice is thin, but you know the jaws. I've seen some of these jaws that are super fat and um, or rounded, and it's just really tough. Now that might be better, and it is uh, for some bigger sized hooks. Okay, and that's where you just need, you know, specifics. Uh, but this does an, a general all around good job on most everything except for the extremes. Okay. Um, but so the rotary, most of it is great. It's smooth. Okay. This is nice and smooth. Um, and you can adjust that too. So there's some pressure right now and that I have some pressure on it. So that way when I'm tying something, I can let everything hang there. Um, if I want to get some look at one side and start tying from one side and lay something there, I can leave the vise like this and it's not going to really move on me. It takes a little, little pressure to move it, but easy still do. Okay. That's one thing that's important. You don't want a vice that is going to be super loose, right? So we can adjust that though. If you do want one, see, so if I'm going to tie and it's doing this and I'm trying to get on the side, but it wants to turn for me, that's not good. Um, because I'm trying, that's, that's what I use the rotary most for is to look at different sides of the fly and then do some adjustments there. But if I need that hand, it falls back. Okay. So you can adjust that. Um, that's the nice thing is, so there's two, uh, see these, both of these knobs here, they both have some grip on your fingers so you can actually grip it. Um, this adjustment adjusts where this aligns. So if you want this, if you look, if you want this to be opposite for some reason, or whatever you want in any position that you want, you can adjust this handle to do that, right? Um, of course, I didn't tighten all the way. There's all the way. And it's just, you know, it's going to be pretty tight. Now, um, what you do, how to adjust the, how strong this is, so it'll kind of, um, how tight it is, the tolerance of this, um, is you loosen this knob, and what I, I like to have it even, okay, so both of them not like this, you know, I don't like that. I'm just OCD that way, right? So you loosen this one, 
and I let them both hang there and I hold there and here and I just tighten that down to the tightness that I want. Then I come and that's that's good and tight a little more maybe and then you can adjust this one and turn this one and I usually like cranking that really far down because I don't want this to come loose. See, and this one's a little too tight now. Perfect. And there we go. So it's a little adjustment. I mean, it's not, maybe not the quickest thing, but then we go, it's, it's nice and even. So I feel like, for me, I'm, my OCD doesn't kick in. <laughs> but it, it, it's, like I said, um, everything I need the vice to do, it'll do. Um, and there's just no qualms with it. So overall, I would say for the price, uh, the price of this vise, there are less expensive vices out there. Uh, for instance, the Peak vise, I think, is $100, and that's a full rotary. Um, but again, the jaw is much fatter, so it's not as good for the smaller 20 and under flies. Um, but I hear that that has a, you know, overall, it's a pretty good vise. So if you're not tying really tiny, maybe take a look at that, because it's only 100 bucks, okay? But I still think this is a better vise, okay? Um... But uh, there's, um, shoot, I think Mongoose or something like that makes a vise, and they're, they're in the $100 range. Um, and then you can get some that are non-full rotary. Um, and there's a couple companies out there that make non-full rotary vices, and they're, um, I mean, they'll spin, but it, it's set angle. So this doesn't do this. Um, the whole thing spins, and then your fly will go like this and, and turn... And get a bigger hook to easier to so if it's sitting nice and even when it turns the hook wants to go like that and so it's really tough to tie on because then it's not sitting nice and flat it's up on an angle right so for a full rotary I think for the price this is probably one of the better ones out there depending of course what you're tying again big saltwater flies you're tying with big hooks all the time maybe not for you but if you're in the maybe size one knot um, they say up to two, but I would say one aught down to size 26. This is perfect. Um, of course, you can get different jaws for it, um, and you can get down to size 30 pretty easily, and up to size, I mean, this is four aught, and I'm sure it'll handle it just fine, okay? Um, and again, for $169, I think it's the best vice, in my opinion, for certain applications out there for that price, okay? If that's your price range. If you have some more money to be spending, um, there are some uh, great options out there. If you can drop 250, 300, 400, or even 600 dollars, there's some vices out there that are absolutely amazing. In fact, Renzetti makes the Master Vice, phenomenal vice. Just it's like 600 bucks, I think. Don't quote me on that because <laughs> I don't own one. But I know that this one starts at around one, uh, 169 uh, This model is a $200 one. Um, and, uh, but they're pretty much identical between those. You know, there's a 2000 series, a 20, I want to say 2100 series, and then a 2200 series. This is a 2200, okay? So overall, again, guys, two thumbs up. Amazing vice. Um, really no issues with it at all except for maybe, because um, it just is so easy intuitive to use, but except for maybe that, okay? Um, the adjusting the depth of the jaws, okay? Because you've only got three uh, changes there, and also you need a tool. So that is the only negative. But for me, it's, my, it's minor, it's nothing big. So overall, if you guys are uh, looking for a hundred to two hundred dollar vice, this would probably be it. Okay, I think it's great, and it'll do anything you need it to do. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.